Hello friends, welcome back to another video tutorial in Revit architecture. I am architect Sonu Rai from Glad Studio and in this today video tutorial, I am going to teach you how to draw a basic site plan in Revit 2024 using Topo Solid. So for drawing site plan, you are required to go to massing and site and you can select this Topo Solid and if you look at this arrow, you can select this and you can create from import so you can import your AutoCAD file here or any other uh, program and you can create a topo solid and also you can create by using create from sketch so i'm going to teach you how to draw a basic site plan so i'm going to select this one create from sketch so i'm going to select this and after this you can look into these properties and you can see this is topo solid grassland 16 inch so these all are in different types of topography here so we can use path 4 inch wood planks path 8 inch concrete path 12 inch asphalt and water 36 inches generally so these all are default category of topo solid you can also edit this uh, grassland here so you can go to edit type and you can duplicate this create a duplicate here and you can edit the structure here and you can add any layer so suppose i am going to select this uh, here and I'm going to insert so you can see here this one is structure one and you can add any material here so we can create any new material and suppose I'm going to type stone here so you can use any stone and I'm going to apply ok and you can give any thickness here so suppose I'm going to give four inch thickness here and i will click ok and apply and ok so you can see here there are four layers so you can create your own layers so i'm going to first select this one and i will delete this one and i will click ok apply ok so i will i am giving it default so now i am going to to drop bar here and i'm going to select this line here and or you can use this rectangle so i will draw a side here and i'm going to finish this and if you look at this 3d view this is flat and rectangular so we need to create a contour here so for drawing contour i'm going to my side here and i'm going to select this one and i will use this one add point so i am going to add some point so i will select this one and it is along surface elevation base will be project base point and offset from surface so how much offset you want from this surface so i am going to select this one fit here and now i am going to draw a point some points here and now offset from surface will be two feet so i'm going to draw my next point here then three feet so this is just to teach you how to draw this and now i'm going to use four feet and now i'm going to use five feet so these all are points and i'm going to my 3d view and you can look at these points and now i'm going to hit enter and you can see this is created and you can simply hit escape and our topo solid is created by using points and you can select and you can use this modify sub element and you can increase or decrease the height of points you can also use this one add a split line and you can draw any split line between points like this one and you can create a topo solid by using add points and add a split line and modify sub element so suppose this is just an example so now i am going to draw roads so for drawing roads you can uh, create by uh, a split line or you can also use this one subdivide but i will tell you the difference 
I will prefer by creating a split element and why not subdivide so I will tell you so, so first I am going to use subdivide so first you need to select your topo solid then you can click subdivide and now I am going to my side here and uh, now I am going to draw a line here so I will use a rectangular line here so this will be our path here and you can create any material for this so I am going to my create new material and now I am going to search for a spalt and I am going to select a spalt light grey I will click apply ok and then I will hit tick mark and now we will see in our 3d view this is our path and you can see here this is following our topo solid so how much your depth and length it is automatically adapting your contour so you can see this is uh, also method of drawing path but this is not perfect so this is above the ground so for if you will also reduce the subdivide height here then also it is not going up the up, uh, below the ground so this is not the best method of drawing your roads so I will tell you how to draw with a split element. So now I am going to select this topo solid and I will select this one a split element and you can now draw path and you can hit your topo solid. So I am going to my topo solid here and now I am going to draw a road here of suppose I am going to draw I will make this as a 10 feet so this is our 10 feet and now I am going to freeze this and we will go to our 3d view and this is our uh, split element I am creating for this road so I am going to select this one is splitted part can look at this and I am going to select this one and now I am going to select this one path 4 inch wood plank and this is our road here and now you can select this one and you can reduce the height here so I am going to from level 1 I am going 4 inch down I will click apply and you can see this is 4 inch down here and this is 4 inch below your ground level so now you can see this is better than this this one and this is one from from your topo solid subdivide and this one is from split element so i will consider this split element now next thing uh, you can also add layers into this you can go to edit type and you can duplicate this one and you can add layers so suppose I am going to this structure and you can insert any layer and you can give this same thickness of this road. So suppose if you want to give any thickness here, you can create any material here and you can use soil or any kind of material and you can select this one and you can bring it down here so likewise you can click apply ok and you can give this thickness so this is uh, more but you can reduce it to match the thickness if you want and likewise you can create your material so in section it will look better so I am going back here now I am going to uh, draw curve so how to draw curves where this road so i'm going to my architecture tab and i'm going to component model in place and then i will select generic models i will click ok and i will give this name as a core and next thing is i'm going to select sweep here and it is asking pick path so i'm going to select this pick path and pick 3d edges so i'm going to select this pick 3d edges so we will select that 3d edges here so 
so I'm going to select this three edges here can use this uh, line thin lines here can click this once and now you can visualize your better I'm going to turn this off so this will be thicker can just look at this lines here and I will select all the lines of 3D edges. So suppose this is our path here. This is 3D edges, and now I am going to finish this, and it is asking to edit your profile, your cobblestone. So I am going to select this one, edit profile. So I will draw any curve here so you can use this side here for drawing curves and I'm going to finish this so now this is our curve and you can change the material you can create any concrete material and any plaster material also you can create So I'm going to create plaster, apply, OK. Now I'm going to finish this. So this is for this side road. You can create similar cobblestone for, for this side. And now for creating a house here, first you need to create a building pad, which is not available in Revit 2024. For earlier version, there were building pad. So you need to first cut this. So I will tell you how to create building pad in topo solid Revit 2024 so you can use uh, architecture here and you can go to component model in place and now i'm going to select this one generic models i'll click ok ok and now you can select select this one void forms void extrusion and so you can create any extrusion so i'm going to first draw this extrusion here and suppose I am going to draw extrusion here, this side, and it can be of any size as per your building design. So you can uh, use this extrusion start. So suppose I am starting this from four feet, and now I am going to minus three feet, and I will click apply, and I will finish this. So you can see this. This is our uh, word form. So we need to cut this. So I'm going to use this cut geometry tool and I will select this topography and this word form. And you can see this is created here. So this is going be below the ground and you can use this cut forms to create your buildings. So suppose I'm going to select this one and now I'm going to use uh, extrusion end at minus one feet I'll click apply so this will be one feet below so likewise you can draw your building you can draw your walls and you can create your walls here so you can suppose I'm going to wall here and I will draw a wall suppose I am going to use this side here so this is central line so I am going to use finish face exterior and you can suppose draw a wall here it can be of any size and after this you can start drawing your buildings you can see here this is our buildings and after this you can start drawing and you can use paths and other forms of designing this site plan and you can use um, components here you can place trees you can start placing trees also and you can also go to massing inside and use this one also 
site component, parking component. So likewise, you can create a basic site plan by using Topo Solid in Revit 2024. So this was the tutorial for the today's session. In the next session, I will come with some more interesting topics in Revit. So thanks for watching. Bye bye.